Hey Taurus, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's have a look at what's going on in your connection. So Taurus, you're starting the week with the overall energy of Hangman in reverse. Who's releasing who? Or who's taking action towards you? Clap at the Hangman in reverse. A situation that hasn't has been stuck, has been stagnant, or been moving on for a very long time. Either you're moving on from someone else who's kept you on hold for a very long time, or you've been waiting for, or someone's finally taking action towards you and things will move forward. Let's see. Hangman in reverse, please. Woohoo! <laughs> who's the runner? Who's the runner? Who's the chaser now, huh? <laughs> Sweetheart, someone who disconnected from this connection, who probably thought that the grass is greener on the other side, or they probably just left you hanging out there, or they just walked away. Uh, I'm not getting so much cheating, but I'm just getting someone out here who tried to emotionally detach from you. Okay, I'm getting no communication out here, is wanting to come back towards you. They were unsuccessful in walking away from you. They're coming back around. Okay, they're coming back around. They thought they, they'll get their ten of cups somewhere else. Or maybe they thought there was other fish in the sea. Whatever it is. And it's a general reading out here. Someone wants a balance out here. Someone wants equal give and take. The same one who abused their power. The same one who you had an ending with. Okay. So whoever you had an ending with. Like a very, very bad breakup out here. You know. It was like a miserable breakup. Something that made you feel betrayed. Just coming back around. Finally, after a very, 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 very long time, okay, after a very long period of waiting, this person finally takes action. What are you going to do, Taurus? Okay, so this person out here was choosing to stay closed off in the past. Life are the two of swords. So there was a lack of stability in the past, okay? And you could be dealing with someone out here who just didn't make a choice. I'm getting more more than choice. I'm getting indecision. I feel this person out here ha knew the reality of the situation, but they choose to wear a blindfold. So I feel they kept you in the middle. They didn't say a no. They didn't say a yes. For some of you, I feel this person ran away, okay? And they kept you hanging, Okay. Lack of stability for sure in the past out here could be dealing with a control freak, but there was definitely a lack of commitment also, all right? And maybe you just chose to walk away from this person. Maybe you healed on your own or uh, for some of you, this person out here could have bought in a third party situation. You realize that and you just chose to walk away. For some of you, I'm getting that the truth was revealed finally. You know, if there was some truth that wasn't revealed, I feel you guys finally learned your lesson. And uh, all the crap was finally being cleared away from your life in the past. And I feel you, it was because you had a strict realization that someone out here wasn't ready to commit or didn't have intentions to commit or there was some infidelity involved or whatever. But there was some truth that was clarified is what I'm getting. Okay, something that came out in the open is also what I'm getting. Yeah. I feel you just release that person out here because they just choose not to make a decision and you try to bring balance into your life but just staying close off to this person. I feel a lot of you, there was no communication with someone out here who did not choose to give you commitment. Okay? And it broke your heart but you eventually moved on from it. Now in the current situation, we have the lovers in reverse with the two of pentacles in reverse. So right now, I feel this is a strong twin flame connection. Either this was a connection that you once had, once upon had. It was a very strong connection out here, but you don't feel it anymore. Some of you have released this connection, you know. And maybe the disconnection was or the breakup is right now or the separation is because there's a lack of balance out here. Clap for the lovers in reverse. Someone made the wrong choice or someone chose not to commit. What's the lovers in reverse? Okay. I feel for a lot of you, because this person out here uh, chose not to commit, you release yourself right now. Okay, so currently I feel you guys have, are manifesting brand new opportunities in your life. 
even though you have someone who wants to offer you a lot of love out here, I feel there's no communication. There are big communication issues between you both. They're still not communicating with you. And I feel that you guys are just choosing to disconnect from this person because this person brings a lot of imbalance in your life. Climb with the two of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you're no longer waiting for this person. You're just ready to let it go. For some of you, you already have let it go. Two of pentacles in reverse. Two of pentacles in reverse. The blockage out here is that a decision um, is needed to be made. And there is no balance out here in your decisions. Or this person out here is still not being able to balance out, still not being able to make the right choice. I feel you're dealing with someone out here who's got too much on their plate, okay? Or they're overcommitted to other areas of their life. Okay, and because of which they're not being able to give this connection time or not being able to give this uh, connection. Uh, you know, the connection is in the back burner is what I'm getting with your person. And they're too invested or they're too overburdened. There's too much on their plate. Okay, and this person out here is at a crossroads right now. They're stressing about the connection. They're thinking about the connection. But is there any effort being made as yet? No. There's no movement forward as yet and that is the biggest blockage. The blockage is to make it happen, to start working on it. They're too demotivated right now, guys. And I feel the only way they're demo only reason they're demotivated is because they're either financially stuck up, there could be family responsibilities or they could just be overdoing something, okay? But right now they have too much going on in their lives and you not be your connection not being a part of their priority. So they are thinking about what to do about this connection. I feel this is a long distance relationship. They are thinking about picking a new direction with you. It is stressing the shit out of them. But there is no effort being put in as yet. And the effort will not be put in as, unless and until they don't look at this connection as something that they are ready to work on as yet. Okay. Which is why you are choosing to move forward. Okay. Because there has been a breakup. <clears throat> now what is crowning the situation is the chariot. Clap for the chariot. Someone's coming towards you wanting to give you, uh, you know, there's a potential of a commitment out here. There's a potential to set things right, okay? Someone wants to take a leap of faith with you and they're ready to make things happen with you. But right now, I feel there's a slight delay because I feel they're still watching you from a distance. There's a lot of spying, a lot of stalking, a lot of watching from a distance, you know, looking at your social media. You know, this person is very sneaky, so you won't even know that they're looking at you. But what they're thinking right now is of how they can make things happen with you, how they can travel towards you. So I feel traveling is a big problem, okay, or physical distance is an issue out here. Maybe for some of you, if it's not the distance, then it's the willingness, the determination, the focus, the goal, okay, which is crowning the situation. This is what is on this person's mind. They're, they're thinking, okay, they're analyzing what the next move should be, okay. Very intelligent person. I feel this is someone who is a good planner, okay. Uh, very good planner, but maybe a little weak in implementation. But it's still crowning the situation. So which means that this is on consciously on this person's mind, okay. Now what is crowning, what is <clears throat> the situation here? So yeah, they are planning to take a risk, planning to take a leap of faith with you, okay. They're wanting to start this chapter after there's been an ending. They want to try this again with you. Um, the fool is not really the most committal energies. In fact, it's absolutely non-committal, but they want to see where this goes. But they definitely want to take this risk and give it one more shot. But what I like is with the fool, we have the ace of pentacles. So it does have a promising new beginning, a potential, a potential. Now, what is the situation? Why is this going down? Nine of swords in reverse. Can I the nine of swords in reverse? <coughs> Someone out here wants to <clears throat> make you an offer. They have a lot of love for you. They have a lot of regret about the way they left, about the things they said, or about the things they did. Okay, they are absolutely regretful. They're overthinking, okay? They have sleepless nights. But the situation is that now they want to get out of their head. 
they want to stop worrying about the situation they want to see they see the light at the end of the tunnel and now they want recovery with you they're ready to make you an offer all this while if they gave you they were breadcrumbing you or there were a lot of missed opportunities they feel somewhere somehow that if they don't make you that offer at the right time there are chances you have already slipped away or you will be slipping from their hands because i'm feeling for a long time there's been a very long stagnation out here i'm getting radio silence so they are still thinking about that offer that you made to them they're still emotionally attached to you they genuinely love you genuinely care for you and they're still thinking a lot about you <clears throat> but you know they're scared that you won't forgive them i'm getting that emotionally blocked you know this person out here is emotionally blocked they're repressing their feelings they're suppressing their feelings and the reason they're suppressing their feelings is because this person out here is very demotivated they're sad they could be depressed you know uh they uh about this breakup and i feel it's because they are a very negative thinker you know some of these people could be so negative in thinking that they can literally go down the you know they're going down the negative spiral so what happens is that they uh, uh, manifest their worst reality okay but i feel they want to come towards you with an offer yes they do fear rejection but they still want to do it anyway but they still are doubtful about this forgiveness will you be able to forgive them okay and that's just killing them Let's see what the future is. Five of Wands in reverse. Let's see. Apply for the Five of Wands in reverse. Looks like someone wants a peaceful resolution, wanting to be on the same page with you. Five of Wands in reverse, please. Yep. This person out here is wanting to work things out with you. They want to work things out with you. If you feel that they've given up on you, they're not. They're holding on to you. Okay. They're coming in in the future, wanting to work things out with you. They want to make it work out. They want to try this one more time. Um, very, very codependent energy is one thing I'd like to tell you. Very codependent energy. So you could be dealing with someone out here who's always wanted to be single, you know, okay on their own, very self-sufficient energy, you know, someone who uh, has a lot of financial success in their life. They have everything in their life except emotional fulfillment. So they are very materialistic all this while. They thought that they were okay, you know, like if, if it's not you, it could be someone else, it could be anyone else, you know. But now they realize that what you give them, Taurus, the way you fulfill them, no one does it like that and now they're coming back around as very codependent and clingy this person needs you this person doesn't want you they need you you cut them down to their knees they need you they're ready to do things that they've never done all this while which is to put in the effort into the connection however i do see that closed off energy i want one card for this <clears throat> Apply for the Four of Pentacles, please. Four of Pentacles. Yeah. Yep, yeah, this person's holding on. This person's holding on. Oh, damn. <laughs> you're moving on, right? Yeah, you're picking a new direction. You're moving on. You're moving on, guys. You're not... You're not open to this person. Uh, you're not open to any kind of peaceful resolution with them. You're not open to any kind of communication with them. You're just ready to let this go. Yeah. I don't think you're interested in them. And maybe, like I said, for a lot of you, this person's coming back. And by the time they come back, you're already moved. You've already moved on or you've already released yourself uh, uh, from this stuck, stagnant situation. You know, a lot of times happens what I feel is that... You know, the people don't make us wait, you know, we wait for them. And now you're releasing yourself, okay, because you're like, you know, I waited enough, but waited for what? Did this person ask you to wait for some of you? Yes, they asked you to wait for some of you. Yes, they, they didn't make a decision. For the others of you, maybe this person made themselves very, very clear and they just ghosted you, but you still have the hopes and you waited for them. But now it's time for you to move on. And that's what you're doing. You're moving on from this person and this person is going to be shocked as shit. You're closed off to this communication. You're closed off to wanting collaboration or teamwork with this person. You're just not interested, guys. 
you're all you've already made up your mind and you, you for you it's like a loss for you it's like i'm walking away not this cannot work out that's what i have for you guys hope this reading resonates and i will see you next time